Hello everyone, my name is Damian, I'm Android engineer here at Infinum and today I'm going to talk about how to create and publish Android library TJ Center. I just need this thing. <coughs> okay, so uh, how it all started uh, while working on one project, um, my uh, Client client uh, requested uh, us to implement in app the same thing they have on the web, and it's um, it's tool for uh, checking uh, password strength. So it looks something like this: uh, user types in password, and they then get some feedback about how strong it is. And we asked them what they use uh, on the web, and it was Complexify uh, library. So it's JavaScript library created by Dan Palmer. It's open source, um, imported to uh, other languages, but Java is not one of them. So uh, my colleague Jeliko told me, Damian, you should make uh, Android and Java version of this library. So I did, and it looks something like this. Uh, user can input password and then uh, gets feedback about how strong it is. Uh, if you want to know more about uh, the algorithm, you can check out on GitHub uh, implementation. But basically, it combines a uh, number of characters uh, user entered and also number of different charts that he used. For example, uh, capital letters, small letters, numbers, special characters, and etc. It also has a hard-coded uh, list with about 500 most commonly used passwords. Uh, so if user, for example, uh, types in word password for password, it will, be, it will for sure be in this band list, and it will return uh, complexity zero for uh, this password. Uh, okay, so I did this library, and then I wanted to uh, publish it, to upload it to Bintray and JCenter. Uh, first of all, I, of course, made account on Bintray. Uh, and then what you need to do is to create a uh, new project. And in that project, you, you want to create a new module and select Java library, uh, and sorry, Android library for that module. Uh, so, and this module will contain your uh, library. <coughs> what you need to do uh, in your build grade file is add these dependencies and apply those three plugins. Next thing, uh, most important thing is to specify uh, all these fields. Uh, or most of them, uh, it basically contains uh, information about your library, your repo, uh, URL, all the stuff that Bintray needs, Bintray or Maven needs to need for uh, for a library. Uh, also, you need to have this info block, which will create your uh, POM file. <coughs> uh, it will. It will pull all those var variables you you uh, use here. Uh, you need some few tasks tasks uh, in Gradle for generating Java doc and sources, etc. And this thing is related to Bintray. Uh, basically, again, all these um, all these fields you specify earlier are here. Uh, you also need to set somewhere or store somewhere your Bintray password and uh, a username. So I, I keep it in my local properties file, which are never pushed to um, to remote repository, and they stay local. Uh, and from there, you can get your uh, username and API key, API key, whatever you need. After you uh, fill in this that uh, uh, Gradle file, you just need to run this command, 
and it will upload uh, everything to your uh, bin tray repository. Um, it's important to know that at this point it will only be on your bin tray repository. It will not be synced to JCenter or anywhere else yet. But uh, guys from Bintray made it very easy uh, to do that. You just need to click this button and in next uh, 24 hour, hours or even less, it will be synced to JCenter and publicly available. OK, so there are there any alter uh, alternatives to this uh, process? Of course, yes. You can use library. Uh, guys from Novoda made a very good um, helper or Gradle plugin for uh, re releasing to Bintray. Uh, it works with Android project, Java projects, and Groovy projects. And it's very easy to configure. You can see here that this is all we need. You need to add this plugin, apply it, fill in those uh, configurations fields. Uh, there, are, there are also some optional. Uh, you can check it out on their uh, documentation, their README page. They, they specified all, all the stuff you can, you can hear. But basically, this is, this is enough for releasing. And in the end, uh, you have to run this command. Uh, you can see you specify your uh, username and key here as flags. So you don't need to store it anywhere. And this is also this task for uh, generating POM file. Uh, my colleague Dino, he told me there were some issue, issues uh, with this. So you need to include this thing. But maybe it will work uh, without it. Uh, that's it. Here are links for complexify repositories. And this Novoda, uh, Novoda's uh, plugin as well. Thank you very much. This slide will be online. Okay, it will be online. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's it. Do you have any questions? For Android Dev, I think JCenter is the best one because it includes all the Maven, Maven stuff, and it's it's very easy to uh, you know add library, just build, gra build Gradle specified the uh, class path, and that's that's it more or less. Yep. No, th there's the... I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, for one project we did a similar setup. Uh, it was uh, an SDK wrapping an API for the client. And what we did was uh, set up Travis CI so that on each push, which has a tag attached to it, it will build the project and upload it to Bintray. Of course, then you have the... It was a public project, it was an open source project, so... We have the problem of credentials there. You have to put your Bintray username and API key. Uh, but Travis has this really nice option, which I unfortunately haven't seen in other CI services, which is you can encrypt your credentials with their public key. So they decrypt it when they're building it with their private key. So it's, it's only available on the machine when you build it, basically. So it's a, it's a nice, nice process. I can share you a link. With the setup, John. Okay. Uh, how did you? Uh, how do you? Uh, did you do it uh, just uploading to the to Bintray? I mean, like, how how did you add the JCenter? Is there also a little like? A Th there's a manual step at the beginning. You have to log into JCenter, add a new project, and set that up. But it's it's a one-time setup. Oh, and so after. You have to pick like this here uploads, and then you have to pick at the JCenter. Everything is up. No, no, no. no. Uh, you don't have to click at all after you uh, do the initial setup. You just push uh, the the new code with a tag, and that tag becomes the version name, and with that version name, it's pushed to the Bintray and JSON repositories. So that's it.
It's uh, the project is called Stormpath SDK Android for anyone interested. Does that answer your question? Other questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.